Okay, this video, I want to do a quick video about um, setting the TPS on your power commander, which is like your throttle position sensor. Um, first thing you need to do, and I'll put a link in the video, is you need to download this um, USB control center software. Um, and that's that's the software that controls everything. Once you've downloaded that, screen like this. Um, next thing you need to do is just open this back bit up. Next thing you want to do is get your USB into your power, con power commander. Stick this bit into your laptop. Now to set the throttle sensor you don't have to actually have your engine running. All you need to do is just turn the ignition on. So like this. Right. Turn the ignition on. Let it do its thing. Once you turn it on, you'll see it will come up with this. It will like recognise the uh, serial number for your um, power commander. All right. Next thing you need to do on the settings, go to power commander to uh, tools, set throttle position. I'll open up this table here. Bear in mind, I've already set mine, but I'll set it again. And what you do, you press, you press reset while the throttles uh, are completely closed. So make sure the throttles all the way forward, which it should be anyway. If it's not, you've got problems with the throttle. And then what you do, you press reset. And what you do, you open the throttle fully. And then you press OK. And then the screen will close. And if you look at the throttle now, when you do your throttle, you go from 0 to 100%. Now okay. I hope this video helps somebody out. Because, um, as a, as a thing as well, I would routinely check your throttle position sensors as well because um, they do seem to go out slightly when you've, you know, after a couple of weeks or so.